Hello, welcome back to Bridging the Gap. We are here with Matt True, who is the president of the Madison Regatta. He's starting to do some really cool things with this. And what is one of the things you have a you have a new slogan like for the Regatta, which I just love. And what is that? You know, I'm I'm not sure that I think it really is new, but but it's a Madison Regatta happens to be in in my mind Madison's biggest reunion. And it is. It absolutely is. I mean, because you can pretty much count on lots of people coming into town. If there is an event that draws people from all over the country, it has historically been the regatta. And the big thing is, if people have been here from out of state, when they come back, they're coming back to visit the friends that they made while they were here at the regatta. Absolutely. That's so. one of the things that we're really proud of around here is people come here, they become friends with people. It's not just a tourist destination. Uh, they become friends and they come back. Uh, that's that's great. I mean, I have friends that are like three states away because of the regatta. So <laughs> yes. it's it's really neat. Absolutely. Now with this with this event, there's all kinds of events leading up to it. What is the kickoff event for this? <laughs> there really is. We have uh, the, the festival side of this thing is really, really big and lots of people, you know, sometimes people participate, sometimes they don't. We're, we're hoping that we can get as much participation uh, with each of these events as we can get. Um, Saturday uh, will be, uh, this coming Saturday is going to be the kickoff for us. Uh, the, the, and that starts off with baby pageants and uh, and little miss pageants, I believe. And then the RC Boat Club at uh, Kruger Lake has uh, a mini hydro race out there. So pretty exciting boat racing out there itself. Uh, there's like 50 some boats that are going to be out there racing. So um, um, I've, I've been once and it was pretty cool. And so I'm, I'm going to swing out there Saturday and check it out and, and, uh, and see how this year is, see how much it's grown. And they take this really serious. Absolutely, this, they do. This is a major competition. Absolutely. There's people from all over the you know the Midwest that come to show up to, to race in this thing. And, and 54 boats is, is really a, a pretty big fleet out there. So they've got all day racing going right. on. And lots of those are modeled off of, of, of boats of today all the way back through boats of yesteryear. Yeah, so, some vintage uh, so, ones. Yes, absolutely. So really, uh, really a neat event. And, uh, you know, there, if you go out there and you see, you, um, you're going to recognize nice boats and uh, we, we just talked about that a little bit on Saturday with WRX and 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 and, uh, and, and Carla was there uh, talking about uh, the club and and some of the the different years of boats for just like just Miss Madison for oh, instance you yeah. know how many of those vintage boats that you know there really are um, so just a neat event so and we're excited about that and, and excited about the pageants and and uh, so we're, we're looking to get started looking forward to get started oh my goodness this makes how many years for the Madison regatta this is number 68 for us so we were born in 1950 I've heard tale that we have have done some racing back into the even into the 20s um, but really, we got our formal kickoff in 1950. Oh my gosh. It's a long time. Okay, now the dates of the event are, because there's two different events going on, but it's all in one. Yeah, we actually, we start on the 30th, so that, that's the Madison Regatta Festival. So that leads all the way up to um, the Rooster Tail Festival, which starts Friday evening. So, um, and let's just run down the order of the events. That yes. way I can, I can get my day straight and I know what's happening each day. So, <laughs> well, it helps everybody else too. Absolutely, it does. So um, so Saturday, we talked about that already. That's that's the RC Boat Club and, and, and some pageants. Monday night is, is the Miss Regatta pageant, so that will be at the high school. And, and that is the uh, the older girls, um, right. you know, big girls, small girls, whatever you call them, the older girls, um, the Miss Madison, and uh, and the teen pageants. I'm, I really, to be honest, with you, I don't remember there. I think all that's on Saturday. Right. Um, so then Tuesday night is the water ball fight. So uh, come out and support all the local volunteer fire guys. Those guys, they they brave all of the stuff they brave all year long so you know come out and support those guys let them have their their evening of, of cheering and all that business and gratitude from from us for the, what they do all year long right. that's a good event for them then um, there is uh, a movie in in the park tuesday night after that and then wednesday is um wednesday is a debrack street dance so come down to the waterfront for that and then thursday is free music in the park and so come down uh, a lot of local bands are going to be playing a uh, new event for us this year is is the uh, and let me make sure i get the name of this thing right it's the, it's the mad craft homebrewer society uh, so it's a homebrew club that they're they're just starting this is the inaugural year for this thing for us so it's going to be like a bottle share kind of contest so if you're a homebrew beer person um, bring it out let us you know let people check it out you can share you can talk back and forth um you know right. homebrewers like to talk about their craft and all that bit you know and there's a lot like of people here that do that there really you know? is there really is and of course you know we're getting a lot of local attention just because we've seen a couple breweries popping up here in town right. so so it's getting some attention so time to start a good club and 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 so we're in the midst of doing that so if you're interested in that at all come down check it out um the music starts at five o'clock on thursday uh, music starts at five o'clock every day thursday friday saturday and um so all of that up until uh Friday evening at four o'clock. That's when things are are free. 
So uh, uh, Friday is is, uh, is free Friday, Fan Friday, whatever you want to call it. Everything's open, access to uh, to the cold pit area. Right. Uh, you can talk to, to crew chiefs and drivers and teams and all that bit. Um, the RC boats are going to be there. I talked to the five to the five guys. They're going to bring some stuff down. Oh, wow. Vendors are going to be here. Um, you know, from from probably Tuesday, Wednesday evening on. Um, in the past, we charged money. We sold buttons and we've had had a wristband and all that bit. This year, we wanted to be as good as we can to the fans and the fan base, and and give them as much as we can. Right. And you know, I really encourage people to actually go down to the pits and talk. Yes. Because I didn't realize it. One year, I went down and we were talking to the the crew pit and we were talking to the drivers and we found out that there's like one group comes and they bring like 20 props <laughs> yes and I'm thinking why are you bringing 20 props but you think there's three or four on right. these boats if you they hit something in the water they've right. got to put three or four back on absolutely so now what if somebody else does and they don't have a prop yes. they could go through all 20 props right with no problem at all if there's a log in the river yep so then I'm like, oh, wow. So then they showed us the inside of their trailers sure. where they do the work. I really, I'm not kidding. If you have the opportunity to go inside one of these crew boats and, and see what they all do and what their supplies are and things, you'll be amazed. Th there's a whole lot of education that can happen down there. We, we, yeah. we see them push the gas and, and make left turns. Right. But there there is a whole lot more into that. And and they love to talk to the, you know their fans. They, that, they you know, do. They, and, and it's hard to kind of connect during the race weekend. That's why we were, we were really excited about Friday, them getting here on Thursday night, being ready to go Friday. I think it's great. So that way they can we can have the interaction. And again, I mean, I mean if you're connected with your fans and that brings right. people together and all that business, and if you're disconnected, then uh, that's not so good in the end. So so this right. is what we wanted to do for people. A couple years back, we got completely rained out, and, and they set boats up on Von Drive. People climbed up on them. They looked in them they got and and that was if you were a hydroplane fan that was probably one of the best experiences I think that I have seen yes and and I didn't hear anybody down there complain at all right. that they weren't running this they were amazed that they had the chance to do what they got to do with the boats yeah and the crews and the kids especially if they get a chance to talk to a driver absolutely you know it doesn't matter who that driver is sure they talk to a race boat driver <laughs> no you doubt. know so then they're they've had that's their weekend My kids they're good to I'm, go I guess I'm a big kid <laughs> I like it too that's a pretty cool job <laughs> I think so yeah. so and then some of the other things that we have going on is um, how to get their tickets yes that's yes. a big one absolutely so right now you can buy tickets online uh, you can buy them in lots of stores all over the city um, you can buy them at the regatta office now um, there are gates that will have have um, cash gates and then there are a couple of right. credit card gates I think Broadway and I think uh, West Street is credit card gate maybe um, then um, and and f starting Friday at five o'clock inside Bicentennial Park so so West Street to Broadway Street downtown will be will be closed off to wristband only so that gets you access into Bicentennial Park so if you bought the combo wristband then you can get in that's thirty five dollars so you can get into the the boat racing and the music all weekend long for no additional charges you know that's not much at all it's not at it's all I mean when was the last time you went to concert you know, I, any any concert I've been to in oh will cost sixty, seventy dollars. Right. And then five dollars for me to print it off my ticket off of my house, which just irks me. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it does, exactly yeah. it does. So yeah. we have a full boat uh, week of boat racing, and we have a full weekend of, of music. And for and like you said, thirty five dollars you you can't beat it. Oh no. Yeah, absolutely. The, the headliner last year um, that was here with us Saturday night, Reverend Peyton. He's back on Friday night. Uh, really, really not my genre of music, but I'm telling you, these guys were amazing entertainers. I mean, they were all over the stage. They're that makes really, a difference. Yes, they were fun to watch and and they gained a fan of me I'm just just simply because of their performance they, they were amazing so they and need to try to watch all of it if they, if they can see oh, a, a little bit of everything yeah that would be absolutely great. We, we have a real vari big variety of music and some of that's going to overlap with the parade parade Friday night and uh, so we wanted we wanted the weekend of music you know right. so um, to, uh, to to have something for everyone so if people are going to go to the parade or people from out of town that aren't familiar with that whatever they, they want to come so there's a, I think there's a reggae band there's a, a classic rock band there's really a, a kind of a mixed variety of music on Friday night Saturday's lineup is going to be pretty much country and uh, leading up to uh, the um, the headliner, which is Turnpike Troubadours, and uh, really underrated band. This morning, I had a, a, an interview with a, a, a country station up in Columbus, Indiana, right. and and that guy was amazed that Madison was able to get them. Uh, a guy I grew up with across the street, way way back in the day when I lived in town when I was a kid. He lives in Texas, and he can't believe that <laughs> Madison has the Turnpike Troubadours coming <laughs> here. He's like, I just I can't believe you guys got those people. Well, so sometimes it's knowing where they're going. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. That, that so, helps. Yeah, so we've got people from all over the place from as far away as Texas just saying hey man this is amazing that you got them and, right. and we're on the way we're that's coming. awesome so so now there's places for people to stay when they're during the regatta there the races what does it take to have a tarp down along the the 
Riverbank. Yes. And then they also can go on the Kentucky side. So there's two places they can go to watch the race. Yes, th there are. So so Indiana, um, of course, that's wristbands for us. And uh, there's tarp spaces. There's RV spaces. We actually, for the first time in a long time, we have some tent camping that's going to be in Kiwanis uh -huh. Park. Yeah. And uh, so that that's right there at at, um, at Bicentennial Park. So so that that gets you um, the the tent camping will get you your camping spot and a couple of wristbands uh, to get you into the music and the racing. Um, so that's something we've not done for a long right. time is tent camping. There's something different everywhere you go. Absolutely. And different types of people. Oh, sure. You know, you get yes. from different places. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it, it's an interesting mix down here. And, and like I said, I mean, this, this is Madison's biggest reunion here. We've talked yeah. about this a couple times already this, you know, this past week. And, and um, so, you know, there's, there's people from all over the place. So we're, right. we're thrilled to have everybody. So I think it's great. And I love the way you, you say it. You say it's a reunion. <laughs> it really is. It, it really yeah. is. Yeah. It doesn't matter who's coming. Right. Because they've... Like I said, we've got friends that we've made like three or four states away, and that's the only sure. time I see them is at the regatta. Right. So I, I like that. So I have to keep reminding them <laughs> yes. it's a reunion. Yes, Come it back. Is. No doubt. Now, is there anything else we need to tell everybody before we let them go? Uh, well, you know, I'm just trying to run through the list in my head. Um, I think we've covered everything. Know, yeah, you know, the I mean, only thing else would be the boat scheduling, and you don't know that until closer to the day. Well, we we have a generic schedule laid out, so they're going to do some testing on Saturday morning, and and then last year, uh, the year before that, we kind of had the same. It's going to be about the same format as the last couple of years. So we'll have the GPWs run and H1 run, GPWs run back and forth, and right. then we'll flip flop that on Sunday. So H1 will run, then GPWs and all that. Right. So both of them get you know the hours worth of. Water and then time. the finals are when because you, the, you have races, but then you have mm -hmm. finals. Yeah, the finals will be Sunday evening, and, and exactly. Exactly. Again, sometimes whatever happens happens all that bit. So, right. so yeah, I hate to say this is the time that we're going right. to get that done. Four o'clock is what we're shooting for. Right. Uh, typically, we're going to try to get done racing. You know, that racing in uh, between eleven and four, and uh, do some heat racing stuff like that. We're going to have a testing session. Try to do that in the morning. Um, and a lot of that depends on the fog and get the race course yes. reset in the mornings and all that bit. So, so whatever time allows, we're going to put as many boats on the water as we can for as, the max amount of time as we can. And four o'clock, we're going to shoot to be done in the afternoons. Now, do you need any more volunteers to help with the regatta? Uh, there's a help wanted sign in front of every volunteer organization in the country. So yes, <laughs> we will take anybody's help up until even Sunday evening at three o'clock. If you right. want to come help us, then come help us. And yes. what areas can they help in? There, I mean, are a host, there, there are so many jobs that we wouldn't have time to list all of them. So if, <laughs> well, if you want to help, basic ones. yes, if you want to help, I, I know the pit crew. Uh, they, they always need some help. The safety rescue crew needs some help. Um, we're looking for people to work like the will call office to be down in the office and answer questions for right. people. And and uh, you know if if you want to kind of be a, a, a guide, there's a you know kind of guided tour spots. You know, available for us for the like the coal pit tours things like yes. that we have a host of jobs for people that to, to, to come and be a part of the organization our last meeting um, before we come down to the river is Wednesday night which is tomorrow night it's right. at the Boneyard Grill it's at 7 o'clock so if you're interested at all then please come up join the organization um, you know if you want to volunteer we'll sign you up you tell us what you want to do or what your skill set is and then we'll match that up and we'll see if it's a good fit for you and and we'll uh, we'll get you to work awesome I think that's great you'll learn more about the regatta if you volunteer oh no doubt about it then and, you will and, if you just show and up. And you get up close and personal. You know, there, there's the, right. our new pit chair guy, um, uh, Mick Barron. This is his first year. He's been a hydroplane fan all his life. But he is this guy is so excited because he's going to get this close to the boats and racing and being on. And he's, he sends me messages all the time. He's, he is so excited oh. about this. And it was a good shot in the arm for a lot of us on the committee yes. because, you know, you do this day in and day out, year in and year out. And uh, sometimes it can seem a little daunting, but his excitement's caught on. Everybody's thrilled, and, right. and we're all just as excited about it now as he is. So he's been a great uh, a great asset for us. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, so come down, you know, just like Mick did. You know, he showed up, yeah. and we put him to work, and he, and he couldn't be more happy. So. Who can they call, and how do they get in touch they, with you? They can call the office. Uh, that number is 812-274-0400. And, uh, and we'll make a list, we'll put you on that list, and someone will give you a call back with uh, whatever our big needs are, and then we'll chat about that. If nothing else, you might get a phone call from me because they don't know where to send you. So, uh, we'll, so we'll chat about what we got, and we'll figure out where you can fit in. Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, Matt, it's great for you to be here today. I really Thanks appreciate it. Thanks for having this. us. We really appreciate the opportunity to come. And, and uh, you know, again, this, is, this event belongs to the community and it belongs to the area. So, you know, as, as much as we can sink ourselves in and, and get right. the word out there, the better off we are. So, well. I'm sure you're going to fill up the pond, the river banks. And I sure hope so. Oh, yes. I'm sure you will. It's supposed to be great weather. So. I know. That's yes. what the best part is. Hopefully no rain this time. <laughs> yes. we, can't, we don't need any more of that. So, well, as for you guys, try to make it out to this. You know, come on the Indiana side, buy your wristband tickets, and go to the 
the bands and then to go to the races. If you got any questions, call Matt or somebody at the at the Regatta office, which is down on Vaughn Drive. It's on Vaughn Drive. And it's the little house that's down there on the corner. It's close to Farmer uh, um, Fireman's Park. It is. It's, it's between it's, the, it's between Mulberry Park. and Jefferson Street. So it's on the corner of Mulberry Street and, right. and Bond Drive. Yes. So just go down there and they'll help you out yep. too. So yes, absolutely. Wonderful. Look for the Regatta headquarters sign. You'll see it there around right the building. So. Yeah. So, well, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>